Gypsy moths hatch from eggs, then they turn into caterpillars, then they form a pupa. Once they emerge from that pupa, they are fully grown adult moths. Hey, look, it's the gypsy moth. They're only available in Europe. Oh, maybe we should not have just left it out of captivity. That was probably a really bad idea. Oh no, Patrick! It's spreading to all of New England! It's defoliating the forest! We can't let it spread to the rest of Boston! Patrick, this is really bad. They're using caterpillar movement and they're spreading all over the East Coast. They've even left the New single boundaries. Just remember, they may get through Pennsylvania, they may get through New York, but they haven't gone as far as Minnesota and states of that yet. We have to control the population before another outbreak occurs. Oh my god, it's already happening! Oh no! We have to hide! Okay, Patrick, I have a plan. It's a very good plan, and we need several steps in order to control the population and stop it from f a further outbreak. So, first things first, what we really need to do most of all is contact our senators. It's for you. It's working. Is it gonna work? Nope. Okay, now we're gonna use pesticides in order for to kill it with its food source. Patrick, just stay here, and once it eats you, it'll die off. It's starting to work. Oh no, it's starting to form a resistance to the pesticides! We can quarantine it. We did it, Patrick. Yeah, Patrick. Uncle Sam's gonna be so proud. Drove that monster from New England and our forests are safe. Because that horrible creature heading straight for Minnesota! Patrick, what we really need to do now is bring awareness to the people so they can find ways to help their environment and stop the spread of these creatures. Run, everybody run, monster! Attention, attention! This just in, a giant monster is attacking Bikini Bottom! By being aware of the native and non-native species of your environment and taking preventive actions to stop the spread, you too